I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to solve equations involving combinations and permutations, right? So the question here is solve for n if 3c n2 is equals to p62, right? So 3c n2 means what? It means 3 n factorial divided by 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial, right? And p62 means 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 2 factorial. So this is the equation which we need to solve, right? So now let's write them, uh, expand basically, right? So n factorial n minus 2 factorial, I could write this as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial, right? We can now cancel it, so no point going further ahead. Divide by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, so I write 2 times n minus 2 factorial. And on this side, we get 6, that is 4 factorial, right? 6 times 5 times 4 factorial divided by 6 minus 2, which is 4 factorial. So now we can cancel 4 factorial. In this case, we'll cancel n minus 2. And what we get here is 3 times n times n minus 1 divided by 2 as equals to 6 times 5, which is 30. So we can write this as n times n minus 1 is equals to 30 times 2 over 3, right? which is 20, right? Which is 20. So bringing the terms together and opening this bracket, we get n square minus n minus 20 equals to 0. So we need to solve this quadratic equation to find the value of n. So the quadratic equation is n square minus n minus 20 equals to 0. We could write minus n as 5 times 4. So it could be written as n square minus 5n plus 4n minus 20 equals to 0. We did this to factor, correct? So you can factor out n. You could have done directly also. n minus 5 plus 4 n minus 5 equal to 0. n minus 5 times n plus 4. So we used factoring technique to factor. You could directly factor also writing two numbers whose product is minus 20 and whose sum is minus 1 and you could have written this as n minus 5 times n plus 4 equals to 0. Solve for n. Perfect. Both are good. Now this gives you two results which is n equals to 5 or n equals to minus 4. Now that is not possible, correct? Not valid. In permutation combinations, we are working with non-negative integers. So n equals to 5 is the right option. So n equals to 5 is solution. So that is how we could actually solve such equations. I'm Adil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always write comments, share my videos with your friends and feel free to subscribe. Thank you and all the best.